In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and add a content area into a Blackboard course menu. Now, first thing that you need to do is when you go into the course, you want to check to make sure that your edit mode is on. If your edit mode is off, you will not have the option to add more content. So up in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the off button and that will revert to the edit mode on. Now, once I have the edit mode on, on the top of my course menu, I have a set of buttons. The first button is the area where you actually can add a content area or a link or divide or things like that. So I'm going to go up and click on the um, plus button and then click on content area. Now a content area is going to give me a menu item and when they click on it I can actually add pages and items and documents and stuff to it. So I'm going to select content area and this one I'm going to use is going to be um, a start here. and I'm going to make it available to users so they will be able to see it when they go in the course and submit that. Now as a default it automatically goes to the bottom of the menu. I would like to grab that and bring it to the top. Now if you point to the item you'll get a double arrow in front of it and then when you point to it you get a four prong arrow. You can drag that four prong arrow to move it to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to go into that content area and I can see that there is a screen where I can add more content. In this one, I'm actually going to add a getting started document for students in one of my courses. So I'm going to go in and I want this to show up as soon as they click on the start here so they don't have to click on another document to open it. So what I'm going to add is an item. And in this one, I'm going to call it um, OK. Now, in the editor area, I um, would type in my instructions. Now, at this point, I already have them in a Word document. So I'm going to go to my Word document and copy them and come over to here and paste them in. So. Um, all I did was go to Word, copy it, do a control C and then come into here and do a control V to paste it. And you can edit the information if you need to. And then when you're done, um, one thing you want to make sure is that you permit it for users to see it. And um, if you want to actually track and find out who actually clicked on this, you can turn on the um, track views and then submit it. Okay, so now the students have a content area that's called Start Here. It's available to them, and when they go to Start Here, they will actually be able to see the content. If I want to make sure that it's showing properly, I'm going to go up and hit the um, Edit Mode Off. And this way, if I go to my home page, I can see what's on that, and then go back to Start Here, and I can see basically what the students are going to see. So that's how you can go in and add a content area into the menu on the left-hand side and then add an item to that content area.